this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your mid July 2022 monthly tarot reading this is a reading that is looking at the rest of July for the sign of Virgo all right guys so as you can see cards are coming out for you immediately we have the high priestess here crossed by the seven of wands okay uh, I would like to say welcome, welcome to all of you. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Also, if you could please give this video a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate that. Uh, guys, for the month of July, I am running a special. I am offering 25% off my 30-minute readings. That is a huge discount, so if you've never had a reading with me, uh, my website information is linked down below. I've also added new options, so go check out my online store. All right, so Virgo, we have the High Priestess crossed by the Seven of Wands. At your foundation, we have the Fool. All right, let's see, Virgo. What does Virgo have coming up looking at the rest of July? Wow, we have the star in the recent past. So look at this energy. All right. Virgo. Wow, we have the king of cups crowning. Okay, so you could be dealing with a water sign or someone who maybe is coming off as the king of cups, could be somebody who has your heart, but this could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Let's see, Virgo, looking at the rest of July. Have the eight of coins Virgo. Okay, we have the three of wands and the three of wands is how you're showing up here looking at the rest of July okay we have judgment in the position of how others are viewing you. Wow, we have the Queen of Cups. Wow, so King and Queen of Cups showing up here in the spread. And then we also have, this is the outcome. Wow, look at this, Queen of Swords. And uh, we have the Eight of Swords. So you have some characters showing up uh, you may be dealing with two feminine energies, but if not, you know, this could be the same person. This could be your energy, definitely. Okay. Wow. Overall energy, we have the Page of Cups. I am definitely reading for some of you where... You have a family, this is your family, this is maybe a family situation. Uh, we have the King and the Queen of Cups and we have the Page of Cups showing up. So King and Queen of Cups with the Page of Cups. So there could be a child that's significant, there could be a child that's coming in. But this is a very sweet, innocent, playful energy. It's a flirty energy. Oh, wow. Look at this. And so we have the Page of Cups is the overall energy. We also have the Knight of Swords. This is communication. Communication, definitely, Virgo, could be coming in. Wow. When you least expect it. 
This could be uh, somebody that is reaching out to you. For some of you, this person may be at a distance, but that's definitely not all of you. If there's been emotional distance between you and your person, I see you guys definitely coming back together. I see you guys growing closer. Um, you could be spending some time together here in July. For some of you, this definitely could be an apology. And so if you are receiving an apology with this, with this combination, it may not come across like super heartfelt. Um, we all have our own ways of apologizing. And so you could be dealing with someone who's younger, for some of you, not all of you. I mean, someone really could be trying their best. Um, they're trying to be maybe loving and gentle um, and they certainly could be really sweet I do wow I do see a reunion we have the three of cups we have the tower and the seven of pentacles with the ten of pentacles wow okay so some of you could be moving um some of you could be moving. It could be due to you having a child for some of you. Uh, this is a reunion. If not on the love front, I mean, this could be with a business partner. Yeah, something is happening uh, suddenly here, Virgo. And so you may hear from someone uh, suddenly. Someone may just appear. Um, this could be at your house. I, I mean, maybe, Virgo, you're just chilling. You're hanging out by yourself. First card out was the high priestess. And so I am reading for some Virgos where maybe you're on your own. Um, some of you may have a child. But this is, this is, um, you may be wanting to be alone. You're not making no moves. Um, and then you have this person that's coming in, trying to come maybe back in for some of you. And then we have this defensive energy here. Uh, you may be telling this person no. They may apologize. They may have ghosted you and this is an apology or this is them reaching out to you um, since maybe they ghosted you, something like that, Virgo. Again, if you're partnered, I think that there's been definitely emotional distance between you and your person. Others, there's a situation with a child. Uh, you may be trying to protect a child. Your intuition is on point, though. And so your intuition is on point. Some of you may be hiding something. Uh, I don't feel like this is anything bad, but you may certainly have a secret and maybe someone is trying to get that out of you. Uh, if you're a cross watcher and you're watching this reading and you resonate with that, I feel like with this energy, a Virgo is not telling you. They're not telling, that's for sure. They're not revealing. Uh, this is a very protective energy. Someone who's on guard, someone who's not changing their mind. This is also uh, somebody who is in the advantage position. So high priestess crossed by the seven of wands. This is having some sort of advantage. It could be because some of you are maybe very intuitive or maybe, maybe you're psychic, whatever it is. You have some sort of advantage. You could have taken uh, a chance prior with the fool at your foundation. Maybe some of you feeling divinely inspired to do something different 
or to live in the moment. You have the star here. So, I mean, look at this energy. You have the star with the high priestess. This is, without a doubt, Virgo, divine inspiration. So if you felt compelled to do something prior, I mean, you made the right decision. Some of you started down a new path. That was definitely the right way to go. Yeah, I mean, this could be a new, a new relationship for some of you. Maybe you met someone or you were waiting on maybe healing with someone from your past. You are thinking about the King of Cups. For those Virgos um, that resonate with the masculine, you definitely may want to give your heart to someone. You definitely could be interested in somebody. But either you or this person, um, they have their walls up. They definitely have their walls up. And so you're definitely going to have to put in the work. Um, with the Eight of Pentacles. For some of you, this is a King of Cups who's really um, putting the, the effort in. They're trying to definitely um, advance with you here, definitely. They're trying to grow and, yeah, they're definitely very into you. And so if this is your partner, Again, there could have been emotional distance, and this is now your partner may be flirting with you and doing, you know, sweet things and really putting in that, that effort, which is great. Uh, this could be you doing this. For some of you, there is good news coming in. Uh, I think you were waiting on this. Three of Wands, Judgment waiting on this reunion, waiting for this news. This is work related for those of you where it's not, it's not romance. Yeah, you're waiting on this news. I do see it coming in. And the only hurdle, really, that I that I see for you, Virgo, is you conquering your fears. That's really it, because your intuition's on point. There's a whole lot of love here. Uh, I see that someone wants to invest in you in this relationship. I definitely could be reading for some Virgos where you're pregnant. You have you have a secret and maybe, um, you know, you're just not ready to reveal that. There's something that's hidden here. If not pregnant, it, it may have something to do with a child. But let's do some clarifying. Overall, this is a great spread. Yeah, um, the outcome is the Queen of Swords with the Eight of Swords. And so um, if fear was holding you back in some way, if you were maybe unable to step out of your comfort zone, if fears were getting the best of you, I see you being able to really free yourself from, from that. Um, you have you have that ability this is you able to definitely balance your thoughts you have this very optimistic energy here all right please clarify this seven of wands Wheel of Fortune and the Sun. Yes, yeah, so again, I, I know I sound like a broken record, but for some of you, this is pregnancy. 
others though, because obviously that's not all of you. Others, this is you, Virgo, knowing that you're on the right path. This is this is meant to be. This was prior divine inspiration. You know exactly what it is that you want. You're on this, this path of success. Enlightenment will come in if it hasn't already. You also have this tremendous healing energy here. Your luck is changing. This could be a new job that is coming in or a promotion. Some of you maybe maybe you work in a very competitive uh, field or environment. Maybe you're waiting on a second chance with somebody. I do see that opportunity coming up. But you will have to definitely step out of your comfort zone. All right, let's look at judgment. What is judgment? We have, wow, the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Magician, we have the Knight of Swords. So Knight of Swords energy, for me it's Gemini, you have the Magician here, so a Gemini definitely may be significant. This could be a Gemini that's maybe realizing your worth. Or, you know, vice versa. You could be mending a relationship with a Gemini. Nine of Pentacles. Um, this is, this is, for some of you, this is somebody seeing you as maybe having it all or someone who's very successful, uh, someone who's very independent, self-sufficient, also manifesting new beginnings for yourself, creating change in your life, and doing this fairly quickly, rising up from maybe a challenging time in your life. There's like rapid growth here for some of you, and so you're being viewed as someone who's very successful and maybe very sharp. You may have ear in your, your chart. Wow, and then we have the Knight of Rods at the bottom of the deck. And so, yeah, I mean, when your mind is made up, when you know what you want, I mean, I see you going for it. Even if you're a little nervous, even if you're on the fence, Virgo, ultimately, I think that you're going after, you know, whatever it is that your heart desires here in, in July. So this is great. And, you know, you may definitely feel inspired to do so. You know, you're hearing the call. You know exactly what you should do. I mean, your intuition is definitely um, speaking to you here at this time. Let's pull you some additional guidance cards. All right, for Virgo. But yeah, this is your luck turning around. So don't back down. This is your luck turning around. Some of you, this could be new love that's coming in. You may meet this person at work. Not all of you, but for some of you. Virgo, additional guidance for Virgo, please. Looking at the rest of July. Okay. Maybe you're dealing with an Aries. Uh, you do have the Fool here at your foundation. And then we have Ram. So some of you could be dealing with an Aries. 
We have Ram, Perseverance. You have many gifts. No problem can withstand the power of your mind. With patience, you can reach your mountaintop. Never give up and good luck will follow. I mean, this resonates with, you know, everything I already mentioned that, you know, the only, the only minor little, you know, caution I have for you would be that you let your fears, you know, stand in your way, but I don't even see that. I see you being able to free yourself from, you know, anything, any thoughts, anything that was holding you back prior with patience you can reach your mountaintop never give up and good luck will follow and that's exactly what i just said um let's take a look at your love life because without a doubt this is new love coming in others this is pregnancy this is you and your partner growing closer all right Look at this, romantic feelings or feelings are real and worth exploring. And then we do a reconciliation at the bottom of the deck. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And maybe you felt, you know, just divinely inspired to maybe reach out to this person or you you definitely are here in july some of you could be telling someone how you feel and i mean that could be sudden that could definitely be sudden all right uh let's take a look at career for virgo For the rest of July, please. Wow, obstacles and blocks are lifted. All your good personal work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks that are now lifted away you will now experience progress and forward movement with your projects stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues i mean it just it just resonates so much if you wanted to manifest uh more financial abundance and maybe feeling more financially secure uh, if you're a business owner your business certainly could be um, blowing up here in a good way some of you may be reinventing yourself um, your brand but yeah blocks are cleared let's see what signs you're dealing with Looking at the rest of July for Virgo, please. This is travel. Some of you, I definitely see you doing some traveling here. Could be for a new job others i mean it could be to reconcile with somebody all right we have aquarius we have aquarius and sagittarius all right virgo so i hope that you found this reading helpful as always if you do please give this video a thumbs up make sure you are subscribed also, guys, I am running a special in the month of July. I am offering 25% off my 30-minute readings. Uh, that is a very large discount. I've never done that. I do not know if I'm going to do it again. Also, guys, I've added new options to my online store. So if you are interested in having a private reading with me, my information is down below. Also, go check me out on Facebook, Instagram. I'm also now on TikTok. 
just make sure guys that you're only following my links there are a lot of fakes out there all right guys have a great rest of july to you